Merry Christmas everyone. Welcome to Arian's review and in today's video we have number video 76. I thought that many of you will probably be a bit bored with Christmas and that you've had too much food so I thought that I will post some videos for you to watch while you're enjoying your Christmas. Uh, as you can see in front of me we have four things to unbox. Uh, today we're just going to unbox one. I'm going to do another video on another any monitor and possibly the third one and i've also got a universal microphone to unbox too because i got this from a friend well a bunch of friends so i would like to say a big thank you for your for buying this for me uh, as will surely help with my channel um, currently i'm using the Rode wireless go Sometimes the sound quality coming from it is not so great, which is what I'm using right now. So let's see if the Boyer improves this in any way. As many have said that the audio quality could be improved more. Now, before we start an unboxing of one of these items, I just want to apologize that I'm a, I do have a bit of a cold right now. So my voice could sound quite bad and I could be coughing during the video recording of this. Um, in this video, I'm just going to be opening one of these any monitors first and, and then after that, I'll do another one separately and another one and then the Boyo will be the last thing that I unbox. There is another any monitor coming my way. It has been sent. I have not received it yet. So hopefully another in year unboxing as well. Um, probably maybe before New Year. At the moment, I have just rearranged all my any monitors. Uh, puts into my case this is what I've actually done uh, this is not all of course um, you can see that in this box which is the cross line quite cheap which I got from Taobao consists of my six A18s the balloons with the zonies the tin high fives with the zonies uh, this in well this has the balloons with the C8s um, we also have this, the Obrava. Uh, yes, there are two more in ear monitors missing, which I'll probably put here. They're actually in my cupboard down here right now, which is the, the two Zeus. So that is what I'm using it to keep all my in ear monitors right now. Uh, remember, I am doing a giveaway of the Billy Jeans, which I'm be unboxing um, in my second video. Uh, this is the one actually I'm giving away. I've purchased this for a couple months now. I've not opened it yet, but I think it's time to open it and do a review, do an unboxing, and then uh, maybe a good comparison since this is a 2BA. This is uh, also a 2-driver. Uh, this is not a 2-driver. I've not told you what it is yet. Um, I do have the Obrava, which is, I think, 2-driver um, as well. So it'll be a good comparison of 2-driver any monitors. Now, the purpose of today's video is to unbox one of these items, and that is the Show C Form 121. So I'm going to be taking away these other items right now. Uh, the Show C Form 121, let me just get a bit of a close up, a bit of uh, information first. I purchased this from Linso during the Black Friday and Cyber Monday time. Um, how much did I pay for it? Well, the original price of this is actually about 75 US dollars, as I recall. Um, they were going on for sale for $60. Um, I then managed to figure out some codes, which was the um, Shozy, S-H-O-E-Z-Y, which allowed me to have another extra $15 discount, making it 44.99 US dollars. So, much cheaper than I would be expecting to pay since I were able to manage to figure out some codes um, to buy this. A bit of information about this. It is a two driver, balanced amateur drivers and beryllium, beryllium dynamic driver with two way crossover, equipped with balanced amateur for mid treble and 9.25 millimeter beryllium dynamic driver, which gives that sub base in the midst for accurate reproduction of sound with low distortion and natural presentation and a lot of air and treble details. That's what they're saying about this. The box is quite small. It is about the size of my palm. Um, so not really quite a big box. 
Uh, the cable is pure copper cable. Uh, this is the form one to one, one for the dynamic driver and one for the BA driver. Um, copper cable is chosen for this project. Metallic venting and nozzle design. There is a metallic, uh, there is a nozzle here for the air, I think, to go in or out, which controls a bit more. Form one to one, one BA, one dynamic driver hybrid. So that's the reason why it's called hybrid because it uses a BA and one dynamic driver. There are tribrids, and I'm thinking of maybe purchasing a tripod, uh, which is quite expensive, but that is what the rage is right now. People who are buying their new any monitors are actually looking for possibly the tripods, and that's where the Empire Ears are going for, and there's other various other companies that are going that way. Obviously, I'm thinking of going the Chi Fi way, it seems like it is much cheaper and you're getting the same sound quality as what you will get from the big companies. Uh, I've enjoyed the Bloom very much, but now let's see what else. Uh, it's a hybrid structure, one dynamic, one balance amateur drivers in handcrafted grade recent finish. Uh, tuned for natural LUT mitts with excellent coherence between drivers. Dynamic extended base and fast response. It has a detachable two pin 0.78 millimeter. Uh, metallic nozzle design with selected E-tips. I'm um, not sure what the E-tips is like. Hopefully they have uh, They include a lot. Here is the BA driver and this is the 9.2 millimeter beryllium coated Dynamic driver which should give it that base that we that I like anyway And then now as you probably noticed that I've, I do have a lot of any monitors. Do I use them all? I actually try to use them all when I have time obviously not in not all at once and uh, there are times when I appreciate the extra bass. There are times when I appreciate where the music is more laid back. So hence the reason why I do have a collection of any monitors uh, that I keep for sure. And obviously, and it helps me to compare when I do this channel. Hence the reason why I probably have to keep them anyway, regardless if they're good or bad. Um, but obviously this channel is to help you to figure out which one's good, which one's bad, so that you don't have to waste your money uh, in any further. Right, specification, 20 to 20 kilohertz wide frequency response, 100 decibel sensitivity, 90 ohms impedance, two pin termination, um, poor copper cable. Uh, there is the frequency response graph. So there's the frequency graph. Um, this is what it looks like. It tells you what is inside. Um, on the side, there's nothing much. Um, it does say open here, but obviously I need to cut it first. I think I'll just remove the whole packaging for this one. Now there's a, it's been a good year for any monitors. There has been some really fantastic new ones and especially low ones as well, which means that you don't have to spend so much money um, in to join us in this audio world. Uh, as I mentioned, Bloom is one of the recommended ones for now. Um, since it's very cheap and one that definitely replaces the Apple in ear well, AirPods, well, maybe the AirPods, maybe the, it's the cable ones. So the box, quite simple. You just flip it open. It is metallic. There is actually a metallic. You can see here, there's a metallic um, indentions here. That means it's metallic, so when you clip it, it just closes. Quite nice. Um, it's the part we can lift it, I assume. is quite tight here we go so a box within a box nothing fantastic there same approach already it comes with a comes with a nice 
pouch box, which I like. Shows the quite hard. Uh, yes, we'll keep my bigger any monitors as well, looking at the size of it. Inside, we have a bunch of ear tips. We have the foam if you want the extra base. We have silicone, we have the double flange ones. Here, we have the any monitors, the Shosi Form 121, the cable, it's copper and it feels quite nice yes very nice unlike some of the other cables uh, looking at it I don't think there would be any problems putting this over my ear um, since the cable is quite flexible um, I'll have to tell you that in a little while it is quite small it's all right big, it's not too massive. You can see the vented hole so that the air can go in and it, so that it allows us to have that better sound quality. Um, at the moment, I probably don't like these ear tips. Uh, you can see that the holes are quite big. Um, the any monitor are relatively, it's bigger, definitely bigger than the Bloons zero threes, I would say, slightly bigger. Uh, comfort wise, I'm happy with these comforts because it looks like it's just like a normal any monitor. Uh, let me just get my player to see to test if it works. Give me a minute. I'll get the SP one thousand from here. It needs a bit of time to turn on. Uh, Mainly been using my stainless steel version, mean uh, just because of the fact that it doesn't have the amp, so that means it's lighter. But occasionally I do bring up my uh, the copper version and test it that way. So let me just put it, this over my ear. Obviously, it is two pin, zero point seven eight millimeters. Uh, it feels quite nice. The color, bit of sparkle there. Shelzy, two driver, one dynamic, one BA. Push it back in. Um, let's see if sound quality is coming from it okay I've been also testing various other companies where I purchased any monitors so I'm trying to find some better deals that are happening especially if, if I've narrowed down to one any monitor that I specifically wanted uh, I am looking at the moment for our tribrid one um, there are two that spring to mind I am not sure which one yet so I'll probably see if I want to take the plunge and buy one of those. Uh, with the balloons, I'm using at 80-ish, but with this one, it seems like it needs to be a little bit higher. Give me a minute. Let me go back to the music that I always go to, which is Michael Jackson, Billy Jean. There you go. Billy Jean is the one that I mostly go for. Nice. Yeah. I can definitely hear music coming from it. I can hear the dynamic driver where the bass is there is bass. At the moment, I'm using the 3.5 millimeter cable and it's reasonable, but obviously, since I'm using the bloom with the 2.5 millimeter, that is the reason why the sound could be a bit lower because it provides a bit more power um, using the 2.5 millimeter output. So I might have to change the cable, but this cable definitely is good enough. So there is no need to upgrade, I think. But let me play around with some of my cables that I actually do own, which includes the Pandora cable as well, which retails for 10,000. So let's just see if that makes a big difference. There is sub bass, not as much as the balloon, I think. So, moment right now, ideal for pop, yes. 
Mm, yeah, that's all I want to say for now. Don't want to say too much about the sound quality until I've actually tested out some ear tips, which will probably make this much better. And then maybe playing around with some of the cables. Anyway, that is all for now in this unboxing. This is the Shaozi Form 1 to 1. I was able to get this for 45 US dollars. Um, I do like it. It is enjoyable and I do enjoy how colorful and crisp it is. So yeah, very compact minutes. Was there any discomfort when I was putting on right now? No, very comfortable. But as I said, I might try to change the e-tips. Um, remember the phone ones will probably give you a better, better bass. So I'll try that. So as I said, the bass definitely on the balloon are probably better, but I can still, there is some magic in here with the phone 121. And I also do like the box here that they've given us to carry it. Anyway, that's all for now, and I'll see you in the next unboxing, which will probably be my Billy Jean from Jerry Harvey. Anyway, that's all for now, and thanks for watching. Do hit the subscribe button if you've not subscribed.